Hey guys, today we're unboxing the Mystery Tackle Box Pro February 2018. Uh, so I did my January 18 box and I listened to a bunch of the critiques that down on the bottom and I realized that I might have a little sound problem, so... Your sound freaking sucks, kid. Daddy, were you in the library? Did you record that on an airplane? I think I might have fixed that now. So... February 2018, I just got mine yesterday, crammed inside of my mailbox. I was lucky to get it out without cutting anything up. And then what they did change that I noticed for mine was the on the Dibbles Digest, on the back of Dibbles Digest is now our bait card. So we're gonna go through this. We'll talk about what the MSRP are on them. I'm gonna get a couple of them out. We'll take a look at it and we'll speed together. So, first thing that we're gonna get out is the Lucky John Viacara, is what it is. And it's a Japanese made bait. It's this one here. I'm gonna take it out of the package for you. It's it's like a lipless crank bait, is what it is. So now it's it's metric. When you look at this one, it'll tell you that it is a one to five meter sinking bait and it's 62 or I'm sorry 13 grams it's 13 grams so when I looked it up 13 grams translated just to I think it was under a half ounce I believe so anyway it's a search bait is what it is but it's kind of one of the more unusual search baits so the next one we'll do is the Mad Tom Venom. So it's Venom Lures. It's basically what it looks like it is. It's one of just like a little, like a finesse, like little brush hog. The next one we'll do is the Biospawn Exo Stick. I got Biospawn last month too. Uh, this is like a centipede like style stick bait here. It's like in a smoky shad color. Feeder shad is what it's called. You get eight of them in there, and I think that it's probably like a six inch or something. It's a little bit bigger bodied in the middle for like a, actually it almost looks like it's reinforced. It's got the bio, it's got the bio spawn logo on there. You probably can't see it with what's going on here, but it feels like it's super thicker right there where the logo's at. So like if you wanted a wacky rig it, which makes sense because there's some drop shot stuff in here too later on when we get inside the box. Uh, the next thing that's on the list, this one was a, this one's actually a mystery tackle box, like actual lure. And what it is, it's not a lure, but it's like the spinner. It's that drop shot worm. So what it gives you, it's the, Carl Stash is what it is, so it's Mystery Tackle Box's little thing. If I can pull them apart here. Two spinners they give you is one that's like a call or a, uh, a will leaf blade, and then one that's like a Colorado leaf blade, right? So you grab one of these out and you wanted to whack you rig it. And take that by the head. Actually it's not too bad, it's holding in there kinda good, so get this. set in there really good. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to pull out. It feels like it's in there. So that'd be kind of fun trip. Next thing we'll throw out is uh, drop shot hooks. So like it seems like what it is is like the rest of the other boxes is that uh, it's got a typical theme with it. So between the bio spawn, the little spinner that came with the devil, the devil's stash, and then some two aught drop shot hooks. Wacky rig drop shot hooks by Stickies. The next thing that we have is a Stan Sloan's Zorro Bait Swim Jig. It's a little like a mouse head swim jig in the sexy shad cutter. On the bottom for a trailer. Get a really nice bait hook. The next thing we got is the Gobi Smart Baits. This advertises that when the water is cooler or the water is warmer, the baits go through color changes and, and in itself imitate like a live bait. So 
I don't know honestly what that means, but it's got the uh, Mystery Tackle Box logo on the back of it. So I imagine kind of what this was was probably one of those things that, uh, like a promo, like just for them. However, you can find it online because I did look them up. So it looks like a little four inch, like a little uh, trailer hog or something like that. So the top part is blue. And the back of it is like a, a candy red. The last thing I got is a flea bag 110 Spook Top Water. It retails for $8.99. It feels like it feels like it's probably like a half ounce like top water rig. They got a little like rubber band hair tie thing there. Both your hooks. Uh, top of it looks like a black shad. Like the black shad top. Uh, the sides of it has uh, looks like it's white and on top of the white there's a little like uh, gold flecked on each side of the bait. And then towards the trim on the nose is that kind of like the dull yellow slash orange like looking uh, underbody there and uh, with red eyes. So the top of it, it does look like it's cracked but that's actually it's made that way it's not a, it's not a defect in the product yeah, let this all right so that does it um hey if you like what you see or you want to see something else um hit the like button hit the comment below let me know what you'd like to see a little different and then what we'll do is then once we kind of try out the water changing stuff for the goby baits We'll post another video and maybe leave the link to that below. So thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope it gets warm here soon because I'm ready to start doing some fishing with this stuff. See you later.